Pennsylvania is all around us, and we want to help you to explore our state. Hi, I'm Beth Erickson, museum educator at the State Museum of Pennsylvania. Join me today as we explore the state symbols of Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is home to many animals. If you had to pick a favorite animal to represent the state, what would you choose? The Eastern Gray Squirrel? The Red Fox? The Striped Skunk? Although that one might be a little stinky. On October 2, 1959, the Pennsylvania General Assembly selected the white-tailed deer as the official state animal of Pennsylvania, declaring it a proud and noble animal possessing intelligence, endurance, and character. The white-tailed deer is a popular choice for a few other states as well. White-tailed deer are found throughout the state of Pennsylvania and are part of Pennsylvania's history. In 1682, William Penn wrote that deer and other animals were so plentiful in Penn's woods that they ran in droves into the house in cold weather. Unfortunately, the settlement of Penn's woods negatively affected the population of white-tailed deer, as the removal of large carnivores, land clearing for agriculture, and hunting nearly extirpated the deer from the state. In fact, in 1906, a 19-year restocking program began to restore white-tailed deer populations to Pennsylvania. Today, herds are managed to keep populations at healthy levels, ensuring that they don't exceed their range's ability to support them. The white hair on the underside of its tail is what gives our state animal its name. When it runs, the deer holds its tail erect so that the white color is visible to other deer, indicating the possibility of danger. As part of the cervidae family, deer are split hoofed mammals with no incisor teeth in the front of the upper jaw. White-tailed deer are browsers and herbivores, eating about four to eight pounds of leaves, twigs, shrubs, wildflowers, and shoots of young trees each day. Deer are also ruminant animals, meaning that they have a four-chambered stomach and chew a cud. This adaptation allows them to eat quickly and then re-chew and digest their food later to avoid predators. Each year, adult male white-tailed deer will grow a set of antlers. This process can be painful and takes about four months. Male deer will then shed the antlers each year, and then later the process of regrowing a new set will begin again. So you might wonder, where do all the antlers go when they are shed? Well, they become food for rodents who use their sharp teeth to eat them up. That's not what I would choose for dinner, would you? So the next time you are out for a walk in Penn's Woods, look for our state animal, the white-tailed deer, out browsing for dinner or flashing that white tail while running away. I hope you enjoyed learning about the white-tailed deer and its selection as the state animal of Pennsylvania. If you would like to make your own white-tailed deer, visit our website.